so far, I've gone ahead and filed my expense. Right? I've got everything I needed to do, and I've gone ahead and I've sent it off for approval. So where does it go now? In a manager's world, your dashboard is going to look exactly the same. And let's say for argument's sake, my name is George C. And my manager now is looking at my expense report. There's $967 that I'm going to expense. I, as a manager, will see that I have one required approval for, um, for me to take a look at. So I'm going to open it up. So the first thing that I notice as a manager, and I'm sure the first thing you've all noticed right now, is all these flags. Okay? This is critical. This is key. For everybody that's typically using an expense program today, you are kind of at the mercy of trust. You, you really don't know where the exceptions lie. You literally have to spend time trying to figure those things out. The first thing I'm doing is I'm seeing that there's a number of expenses that are in exceptions, and I know exactly where they are. So I'm going to start digging into some of those. There's some office supplies here. There's some entertainment with a client. So let's go ahead and take a look at the office expense, for example. I've noticed that this is a receipt from Costco. Okay. I've noticed that there's a corporate card transaction. So it looks like um, George has definitely used his corporate card, and it's $110 at Costco. And I've noticed that he's left a comment as well. Right? So we noticed back a few slides ago that you could leave comments. In my case here today, I've basically, I'm reading George's note that says, these are snacks for a Friday staff meeting. And I'll remember that, oh yeah, I did send George out to, to Costco apparently to look for snacks. So fantastic on me, I'm gonna let that one go. Um, my discretion, and I have another expense here. Let's say this is an entertainment cost. Well, I've noticed that there's now three other individuals, sorry, two other individuals that are on my um, attendee list here. It's $250. I know that this was a meeting that George had uh, had booked, but I'm going to dig into it a little bit deeper. You'll notice that the actual expense, the $250, that's been allocated evenly or split evenly amongst the three individuals, which happen to be Elaine and Cosmo. Moving forward, I'm going to go in and look at any comments. Well, George has noted that this was a client who signed a new contract at dinner. Okay, that Sounds good to me. I remember that deal. It came in. I'm, I'm happy for it. But I'm missing a receipt. Okay, so whether or not I allow George to go ahead and, and spend money on this client and, and get the deal done um, is irrelevant because I still need that receipt. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to look at this little tab here on the right. And this is only available to me as an approver, by the way. It's a send back to uh, employee expense button. And what it will allow me to do is basically send this one line item back to George. The rest of the actual expense report, I can go ahead and approve. This is great because I don't have to actually get on the phone with George and ask him you know, why he's missing his receipt. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I can go ahead and approve the rest of his report and just send back that one line item. Um, essentially, when it comes back, I'll be able to have that expense reimbursed for him. My note to George is pretty simple. I need to have an attached receipt to this expense. This is going to be sent to George in an email. He's going to get that email notification. He's going to get a link to that expense report um, and that line item, and he's going to remember, oh, yeah, I forgot to actually attach the receipt. Okay. In the event, by the way, that he doesn't have a receipt, you can go through an affidavit process. Again, it's just another way for you to get a check and balance instead of concur um, and allow yourself to basically just tighten up the ship a little bit. Now, I approve that expense report within my um, concur environment. I can definitely do so on my mobile phone as well. Right? The same way I was able to basically submit an expense on the mobile phone, I'll be able to go ahead and see an open expense. I'll be able to view any uh, restrictions or any flags, and I'll be able to make any uh, recommendations or send items back for approval. So let's say that, for argument's sake, all of my expenses now have been approved. And by the way, if there are any flags that are still being um, you know, sort of discussed, then I can have finance send those back to me if they wish as well. So if I approve something and finance says, yeah, no, they can send it back to me until we get it resolved. The way I look at it, it's the way you will basically track your expenses moving forward. You'll start running some trends, um, and then you can start trimming. Right? If you recognize that there's a specific hotel that you always stay at, you go out there and you get a, a negotiated rate. If you recognize that everybody typically spends 
um, an extra twenty dollars at dinner, you can go ahead and start putting some policies in place that say, guys, you're only allowed one drink. Um, you know, you're only allowed to have X amount spent. For example, again, these are little costs that at the end of the year they start piling up, and that hundred thousand um, dollars or a million dollars that you might spend in expenses it starts really offering you fruits in terms of savings. If you um, have any questions, we can definitely you know, get on a separate call, work together. Um, but high level, I hope, uh, I hope that's a, a good summary for everybody here. Uh, with that, I'm, I'm passing it back over to you, Scott. This is a really handsome looking guy. Who's this guy? There's Steve, Director of Business Development, and he's, he's going to be the key, key contact for anyone who has uh, additional questions. So a little bit about Endeavor, just as part of the introduction, we've been around for the last uh, 25 years, three core lines of business, uh, advisory services, implementations and upgrades, and ongoing optimization and support. Uh, we have a very strong help desk, uh, works with uh, all of our clients. We now have over 400 active clients across Canada, uh, being supported out of our key offices in Toronto, Halifax, London, Montreal, and most recently Edmonton. To look us up online, www.endeavorsolutions.ca. Uh, you can meet our uh, staff in the About Us section as well as on LinkedIn.